Hey, Homer Brink, and welcome to our January Think Tank. Our word of the month this month to live by is integrity. Uh, before we get to that in just a second, I want to bring up our meals bucket that we have right here. You may have seen it in our main hallway, main entrance area. Our goal over the next couple weeks up until the Super Bowl is to fill this up with as many different items as we can. We want it overflowing with items from home. Now, I'll make a little deal with you. For every item that you put in, each individual item, not like the amount of peas in a can, but the can itself, I will do one push-up. So if we do, I don't know, a few hundred items, I will do a few hundred push-ups. We will count it uh, at that date on February 13th. But if we don't bring anything in, then my arms are going to get a real break and not have to do anything. So our goal is to get as many as we can. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Next, uh, we have a little presentation from Mrs. McCoy's class on our Word of the Month month, which is integrity. So Mrs. McCoy's class, take it away. Integrity is doing what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it. Integrity means to be honest to get more friends. Integrity also means to do the right thing when nobody's watching or looking. Integrity means being kind, respectful, and helpful. Here's an integrity quote for an example. Real integrity means it doing the right thing when the light is watching. Integrity means to me that when I know something is wrong, I do the right thing, even if it's not the easy way. Integrity means to me that when somebody asks me to do something, I do it, like when my parents ask me to clean my bedroom. Integrity means being honest and sticking up for mistakes and being a Spartan. If someone drops money on the floor, what would you do? Take the money because you want it. Or give it back because you know it's the right thing to do. Integrity means doing the right thing even when no one's watching. Somebody dropped a hundred dollar bill. Should you pick it up and take it? Or tell the person that they dropped it and give it back? Do the right thing and give back what they lost. Always show integrity. integrity. When you're given a choice to be right or to be kind, choose kind. Be a Spartan and be kind. A kind word is never wasted. Always be kind. Don't be a bully, be a buddy. Integrity is being the right thing and being kind. Do the right thing even when nobody's there. Right is right, even when nobody is doing it. Wrong is wrong, even when everybody is doing it. What would you do if somebody dropped a $20 bill? Would you A, pick up the money and give it back to the person? Or B, keep it to yourself? Do the right, right thing. Here is a quote. Integrity is choosing courage over comfort, choosing what is right over what is fun, fast, or easy, and choosing to practice our values rather than simply professing them. Here's a scenario. If you walk out of the store without paying for something, do you forget about it, or do you go back and pay for it? Do the right thing and go back and pay for it. Integrity is not something you show others. It's how you behave behind their back. Wisdom is knowing the right path to take. Integrity is taking it. challenge winners to come on up to the front. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I really love it for the fourth grade challenge winners to come on up. So, just to be clear, everybody, hold up. Just to be clear, all of you are the ones that won the Baby Shark app challenge, right? Okay, so I want you to find a spot, let's say up on the top row here, some of you can go on this bottom row here, so that we kind of stay in, in the screen, in the line here. So come on up front. Here, come on up front, come on up front. Come on up front. Okay, slide in back there. Mr. Matthews, come on up front. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to showcase our monthly fitness challenge winners for the month of January. They're gonna do the Baby Shark app challenge. You guys remember how it goes? All right, let's give him a round of applause. Are you ready? Here we go.
Ready, go. Boom. Oh, one for two. One for three. One for four. Two for five. Two for six. And go. Look at those. So close. All right, team number two, come on down. Each of you come grab the ball. What's going on? How many did we make? Three? Or two? We made two. Does everybody have a ball? All right, here we go. Go number one. Strong. Coach Norton's playing defense with the iPad over there. Throw number two. Who's up? Throw number three. Little deep. We got those pizza muscles from lunch. Whoa, a pass, Mr. Horn. Oh, just one. Try to get one in, team number two. Oh! All right, give team one a round of applause. Thank you very much, Mr. Horn. Thank you, Tom Hunter. Good afternoon, over break. Afternoon, Overbrink. Yeah. Awesome. So you guys are going to be involved in our January Think Tank. Um, what we're going to do first of all is bring up our Baby Shark App Challenge Fitness winner. If you're if you're in the middle of eating, you don't have to, right? But if you're available, you want to come up, showcase your skills. A Baby Shark App Challenge winner. Get on up here. Come on. Sitting like up here or on the very bottom step. Make sure that you're in the middle. Oh, Izzy! Izzy! Where's Reed? They're going to showcase the Baby Shark Cap Challenge, and then they are going to get to take part in our Super Bowl Football Challenge game following the champ, following the Baby Shark Cap Challenge. Are you guys ready to run? All right, I will help you with some of the cues. Remember, try to keep those legs up the entire time. Here we go. You're going to throw from right 
Second round, let's see how we do. So far we got one in. Oh! 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 Nice! Maybe we get a third one. Oh! Alright, team two. They got two footballs in. Where's the line you gotta go from? There's the target. The football, free throw. All right, so far. Whoa, pass the coach Gordon. All right, you guys got to get two out of the next four. All right, here we go. Got to make two at a time. We got one. Hard. Alright, this one's got to go in the time. Hey! Team number one is your winner. Give them a round of applause. One more time, give your this, uh, January Fitness Challenge winners one more round of applause. Good job. Thank you very much, fifth grader. Good afternoon, Homer Brink, third grade. Good afternoon! How are we doing? Good! Yeah, awesome. That's, that's the best response we've gotten so far. Now, this is our January Think Tank that you guys are going to be a part of. What I need right now is if you were one of our January Monthly Fitness Challenge winners, so either today or yesterday, you won the Baby Shark App Challenge, I want you, if you would like, to come up and showcase your skills. So give you a couple seconds, come on up, Monthly Challenge winners. Get those chicken nuggets in quick, pizza. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have you make one row, try to stay right in front of the screen. One row up top, and one row on the bottom. Uh, some of you, here, come on down, both of you. Come down the front row. Uh, 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 four. One, two, three, four. Come down the scoot, and scoot into the middle. Front row. Guys, right, front row. All the way down. Front, front row. Go ahead, Danny. Sit down. Front row. Front row. Front row. Here. Scooch. Okay, scooch in a little bit. Scooch in a little bit. Can you see down here, Coach Norm? Uh, yeah, if you don't, can yeah, I can. Yep. And there's room. There's room on the, next to her up there too. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna have you scooch over right here. No. Oh, we got one get, getting summoned. He's got a Oh, sorry. He's got it. No, we got it. He can come back for the football game after. All right. And then okay. have her, her pop up. Have you pop up there? Yeah. Perfect. Are we good? Yep. Okay, so what's gonna happen? We're gonna play the Baby Shark song. You guys are gonna showcase your skills. Those of us in the audience, we are going to cheer them on. Are we gonna scream at all? We're not gonna scream, right? We're just gonna clap and cheer them on. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Legs up.
Give them a round of applause. Are you ready? All right, let's cheer them on. Team one, first throw, go ahead. Next throw. Next throw. Nice, next throw. Oh, it's so close. Oh, it's so close. All right, come grab your footballs again. You each get to throw one more time. All right, here we go. First throw so far, they have two in, right, Mr. Norton? Two in. All right, here we go. Ah, that's a little long. Three. Oh, so close. Oh, last one. All right, so they got four. Give them a round of applause. Team two, grab a football. Come on, 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 Four is the score to beat. Here we go. Oh, we're so close. Watch out. Get your football again. Take one. Get your football again. Try to make three to tie. Three to tie. Back the whole world. Yeah. Here's a line. Yep. Ready. Three to tie. Here we go. We got one in. There's two. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. All right, chance to get three. 20 ball. All right, give a big round of applause for team number one. And an even bigger round of applause for all of our monthly challenge winners. Good job. Thank you very much, third grade. Hi, everyone. I'm here to present the Golden Awards for this month. So the Library Golden Award, this class goes above and beyond when it comes to books, reading, and library time. They come eager to listen and learn. Their excitement and enthusiasm about books and authors is terrific. Congratulations to Mrs. Weaver's readers for winning the Library Golden Award. So congratulations, Mrs. Weaver's class. Music Golden Award. This class always perseveres with their activities. They always put forth their best effort. The Music Golden Award is for Mrs. Skarupa's class this month. Congratulations, Mrs. Skarupa's class. The custodial staff has nominated Mrs. Linneberry's class for keeping their room clean and helping them out. Congratulations, Mrs. Linneberry's class. This award is given to the class who is always walking into the gym and making sure they are spread out and ready to start class. The PE Golden Award goes to Mrs. Weaver's class. Great job, Mrs. Weaver's class. The Golden Award for Art goes to a class who has worked very hard to understand and follow the art room rules. They have turned their behavior around in the art room 100%. They come in quietly, eager to work, and create to their best ability. Mrs. Chanis loves working with this class and thanks you so much for your respect. Congratulations to Mrs. Gibby's third grade class. You deserve the Golden Art Award. And the last award is the Principal Golden Award. And it's quite interesting who I'm giving this to because this classroom actually received other awards this month. So there's definitely a reason why Mrs. Weaver's class is getting the Principal Golden Award this year for exhibiting the Spartan Way 
everywhere they go. So congratulations to all of the classes. Keep up your good work, and I hope next month I will announce your classroom for a Golden Award. Thank you.